हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू सॉल्व दिस मैथ ओलम्पियड अल्जब्राजब्रिक प्रॉब्लम सो हेयर वी हैव थ्री टू द पावर ऑफ थर्टीन माइनस फोर सो वी नीड टू सॉल्व दिस अल्जब्रिक एक्सप्रेशन सो हेयर द वेरी फर्स्ट स्टेप वी आर गोइंग टू डू इज हेयर फर्स्ट वी री राइट दिस एक्सप्रेशन एज थ्री टू द पावर ऑफ थर्टीन एंड वी बी ब्रेक दिस माइनस फोर एंड वी राइट इट एज माइनस थ्री माइनस वन because we know that minus 3 minus 1 equals to minus 4 and now in the next step uh, we focus on the exponent of this term so its exponent is 13 and we break this exponent and we write it as 12 plus 1 we know that 12 plus 1 becomes 13 and this is minus 3 minus 1 so now uh, in the next step here uh, we use the exponential law and you know about this law if we have a to the power of m plus n it is equals to a to the power of m times of a to the power of n so here we use this nice exponential law so we break this expression and we write it as 3 to the power of 12 into 3 to the power of 1 minus 3 minus 1 so now in the next step you see here we have three be the common expression so we take it common three and the remaining terms are 3 to the power of 12 Minus one, and this is minus one. And in the next step, uh, here we rewrite this expression as uh, because this is twelve, and we write it as three to the power of uh, six times of two. We know that six times of two becomes twelve. Minus one and minus one. So here we again use another exponential law. So according to this law, we have a to the power of m to the power of n equals to a to the power of m times of n. So uh, here, uh, if you have product of two numbers in the exponent, so we write this in this form. So that here we just uh, rewrite this expression as three to the power of six. And it's a whole square minus. We know that this is one, and we write it as one square, and this is minus one. So uh, now in the next step, we use here uh, the nice uh, uh, square identity, and we know about this identity. If we have a square minus b square, it is equals to a minus b times of a plus b. So here we use this nice formula to the uh, to only this expression. So uh, after using this formula we will be get in this form 3 to the power of 6 and plus 1 into 3 to the power of 6 minus 1 and this is minus 1 so here uh, we need a little bit simplification and we know that 3 to the power of 6 equals to 729 plus 1 Similarly, this three to the power of six equals to seven hundred and twenty-one minus one. This is minus one. And now we uh, write here three times of seven hundred twenty-nine plus one equals to seven hundred and thirty. Similarly, this will be equals to seven hundred and twenty-eight minus one. So now in the next step, we uh, rewrite this term as. Three times of seven hundred and thirty, and we write it as seven hundred plus thirty. And similarly, we write this expression as seven hundred plus twenty-eight. Okay, seven hundred plus twenty-eight becomes seven hundred and twenty-eight. This is minus one. And now, in the next step, we multiply these two factors. and we move towards our final answer so here first we multiply this 70 to both of these terms after that we multiply this 30 to both of these terms so now first we multiply 700 uh, so 700 times of 700 plus 700 times of 28 and now we multiply this on this and we get 30 multiplied by 700 Plus thirty multiplied by twenty-eight minus one. So here we multiply these two factors, and now we need some simplification. So we get three times of seven hundred multiplied by seven hundred equals to forty-nine into four times of zero, and plus 
here we multiply 700 by 28 and we get here 19600 and plus we multiply this 30 by 700 and here we get 2 1 into 3 times of 0 plus when we multiply 30 by 28 and we uh, obtain here 840 and this is minus 1. So now we add uh, the terms here so and we need to simplifications here uh, so that we uh, we now add this uh, these two terms and these two terms as well so we have when we add these two terms uh, so uh, here uh, we you you will easily uh, add these terms by oral so we write it as uh, when we add these two terms then you get here five zero nine six double zero and plus when we add these two terms then we get here two one eight four zero and minus one so after that we need to add these two terms so that uh, here we write these two terms up and down and we easily add uh, the write the uh, add these two terms by professional way so we have five zero nine six double zero and zero four eight one two so here we add these two terms and we get zero four and eight plus four is fourteen carry one and we have ten and eleven and we carry one and two plus one is three and five so that when we add these two terms then we get here five three one double four zero and minus one so after that here we need to multiply uh, 531004 by 3 so uh, we multiply this here 531440 multiplied by 3 so we need to multiply these two terms and we get 3 zeros are 0 and 3 fours are 12 we carry 1 3 fours are 12 plus 1 13 and we carry 1 3 1 the 3 plus 1 is 4 3 3 is a 9 and 3 5 is a 15 so we get here after multiplication 3 by this term so you get uh, the term 1 5 9 4 3 2 0 and this minus 1 so uh, when we subtract this term by minus 1 so that you finally get here one five nine four three and twenty minus one becomes ninety. So this is the our final answer of this question. And thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.